In this tutorial, you will learn how to manage a SharePoint contacts list. A contacts list is used to store information about people or groups, either within your organization or externally, such as vendors and suppliers. In this demonstration, I will use a contacts list to create a vendor directory in the accounting site. So the first thing I'll do is navigate over to the accounting site. By default, a team site does not include a contacts list. If your site does not contain a contacts list, you can create one provided you have the proper permission level. Click All Site Content in the Quick Launch list. If you see a contacts list in the list section, click on the title to open it. If you don't see a contacts list, click Create at the top of the screen. Then click on List under Filter By. Then choose Contacts. On the right, click in the name box and type a name for the contact list. And then click on more options. You can add a description for the list below the name. In navigation, you can choose whether or not to add a link for this list to the quick launch. I will leave that at yes. And then I'll click create button at the bottom to complete the list. And here is the new empty contact list. You can see the column headers at the top for last and first name, company, business phone, and so on. I'm going to return to the accounting web page to my browse. You'll see here in the quick launch on the left, a link for the approved vendor list has been added. I just click the link and it takes me back to the list. To add a new contact to the list, I'll click on the link down here, add new item. As you can see, the contact list has a lot of predefined fields already built into the list for names, email addresses, phone numbers, and addresses, and so forth. You only need to fill in the fields that are applicable to your list. The last name field, by default, is the only required field as indicated with the red asterisk. So I'll fill in the information for my first contact. Once you've finished filling in the fields for the contact, scroll to the bottom and then click on the Save button. And here you can see the new contact added to the list. If you need to reopen that contact to add or change in any information, click on the last name. This displays all the fields associated to that contact. And on the ribbon bar, I have options where I can actually delete this contact, or I'll click on Edit Item to make changes. And that opens up all the fields where I can add or change information. Then after you're finished making changes, you can click the Save button at the top on the ribbon, or scroll to the bottom and click on Save. Next, we will take a look at using Data Sheet View to update the contact list. SharePoint lists have a built-in view that makes populating a list like this easier. Choose the List tab under List Tools, and then in the ribbon bar, select Data Sheet View. The list is displayed in a spreadsheet format. You can now enter contact information row by row, just as you would in Excel. You can use the Tab key to move the cursor across a row to the next column. So to enter another contact here, I'll click in the Last Name column under the first contact I had entered, type in the last name, and I'll just hit the tab key, moves me over to the first name column. And just continue through, filling in all the field information. After filling in the last field, just hit the tab key, and it returns back to the next row. I can just tab across to last name and enter my next contact. So I'm going to go offline here and add a few more contacts to the list. So I've finished entering a few more contacts in the vendor list here. And to return to the default view up on the ribbon bar, I'll click on Standard View. Another feature that SharePoint List provides is the ability to sort and filter a list. And that could be especially helpful in a contact list like this, which could eventually contain quite a few entries. Sorting and filtering is done using the column headings. When I mouse over a column heading, you'll see a drop-down arrow displays. Click the drop-down arrow, and the first two choices let you sort the list, either ascending or descendingly, or select a specific value from the column to filter on. So first I'll select to sort the list by company name, ascending. So that's reordered the items in the list by company name. Or to filter the list, I'm going to filter by company name, click the drop down. Now let's say I only want to see 
vendors from Beatron Food Service. When I select that company name from the menu, it temporarily filters out the other vendors. To redisplay all the vendors, I go back to the drop down menu for that column heading and choose Clear Filter. Finally, we will see how to connect a SharePoint contact list with Outlook. SharePoint allows you to link a contacts list with Outlook. The contacts list is editable in Outlook, and all changes are synchronized back to the SharePoint contacts list. To do this, select the List tab under List Tools, and then select Connect to Outlook. In the first prompt, select Allow, and then choose Yes to confirm the connection between SharePoint and Outlook. The SharePoint list will display as a folder in the Other Contacts section of Outlook Contacts. So I can make changes to the contacts that are here, or I can add new contacts and they will be synchronized back to the SharePoint list. So I can update existing contacts, and I'm going to update Claire's name. I'll do that by double clicking on the title bar. And let's say I accidentally misspelled her name, there should be a T in there. Insert the T, then I'll click Save and Close. To add a new contact, click on the New button. After filling in the information, click Save and Close. Now I'll switch back to my vendor list in SharePoint and click the Refresh button to update my changes. And here you can see the change I made to Claire Atkins name and the new entry for Sandra Keller. If you ever want to remove the SharePoint list from Outlook, go back to your Outlook contacts, locate other contacts, right click on the list name, and choose Delete, and then Yes to confirm. The folder for the SharePoint contacts list under Other Contacts has been removed.